I, there's no one to talk to here, so I can't sh point, I guess, go to Grossberg? Oh, the, oh, the painting's gone! <gasps> Why? It's an affront to- Look at those hooks. <laughs> it's an affront to- to everything. I have no faith in the world. Was he behind it all along? My be beautiful painting is gone. Looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason? So you're a punk ass bitch? Who's that? There's a picture on the thingy, too. Oh, yeah. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? No, there wasn't. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah it was a painting of sunflowers. <laughs> Marvin Gross. Was it him? Fisher it wasn't a fisherman. Fisherman? It, it wasn't... It was a wasn't a farmer guy with a dog? Yeah. It wasn't any of these things. Eh? Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable <laughs> painting, anyhow. Yes, it was. Yeah, it <laughs> we was. We talked about it for like how it looked like a black Angus painting <laughs> for like two minutes. What's this? Old photos. There are two lying here. Something's been written on pencil on the backs. DL6 incident, exhibit A and B. Take a look at these. Okay. Is it their wait, is that their mom? I was gonna say it looks like them. Well, I was gonna say that's what, that's what it's gonna be. That's why he's like, yeah. I've seen this person somewhere. Maybe because yeah. she looks like them. I'm sure I've seen this person before somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure, no one will miss just one little photo I steal from a lawyer's office I'm that sure, couldn't possibly be useful for anything. I'm sure no one will miss the one little painting that I took off the wall. Yeah, let's, let's can I take the bear? <laughs> I know. I'd rather have I, the bear. I want the bear with the melon rind. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. He wrote it in pencil? What an amateur. Quietly added to court record. Oh. Oh. oh baby. He looks like a stand user. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's kind of Jojo light. <laughs> yeah. He only has one curl. <laughs> his hair is too possible. Yeah, his hair is too possible. <laughs> <laughs> a photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Mm. Why? You can't take two? No, you should take the one. Okay, hold on, hold up, hold Just up. Just take hold both, up. you weirdo. If you take the one with the man, you can show a uh, little, little pink girl. You can show April May, and, she, and you'll be like, this is your... Oh, no, you, you can show the man to the, to the bus boy. Yeah, I can, I, can tell the, I can tell the bellboy, show the bellboy the man to see if it's the guy. You should show... Because he specifically said, I'm sure I can identify him if I saw a photo. But what? The, why the fuck can't I just take both? This makes no sense. I wonder the other That's lady... That's not how laws work. Can, can you show... <laughs> are you able to access Maya? No, because she's not in the jail right now. I was going to say, if that one's her mom, you could show her that picture. Yeah, I don't think she's given us an option right now. But I don't think you, we can see um, I think I'll swap Maya. Them. Yeah, take Exhibit take a uh, take that guy. Googling DL six incident. <laughs> mahogany, full of mahogany, and mahogany. mahogany. There have been like a, oh, ooh yeah mahogany. There have been a couple books that I've liked so much that I bought again with like a nice leather cover, but I don't read it. <laughs> There's only like two books I have that were important enough for me to have that, but like the I actually do have a copy that's all worn up, worn out, and looks terrible with like the cover ripped off and stuff because I love it. But I, I understand buying dialogue. pretty books if you like, yeah, them enough. I don't have that, but I have an album that I bought like that. Is it the record? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's on the. I haven't opened it, it right now. I have a record player. You, I just I told wanted you. to have. I just wanted to have a giant album cover of my favorite, uh, like one of my favorite albums ever. Do you ever want to play it? Maybe. Just, I'll pull out my record player <laughs> and we can play it. We've been everywhere now, right? Yeah. So let's go back to the hotel. We're gonna lose a lot of time to all this commuting. Oh, it's because of- that's probably the- this, this screen probably doesn't scroll. <laughs> I bet oh. they're capped on how many evidence pieces there could be in the game. That's and probably And one of them why. is wasted on this piece of shit. You're wearing it though, it shouldn't count. <laughs> it's not like it's in your pocket. Take a look at this photo. Oh my god. 
My goodness. That's him, detective. <laughs> I don't want to give him that voice. <laughs> <laughs> the hop? Is that you? Yeah, oops. <laughs> um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once, so you know how it is. No. No, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. I about to write an affidavit swearing that that's him. An affidavit? This guy's way too excited about this. Why would I not have what's, him write what's it? What's an affidavit? I've heard that word before, I just don't know what it actually is. <laughs> Uh, 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 best I can assume is this document that'll do what he says. Well, is it just like a handwritten note that says, I verify this, and then you sign Something it? Something like that. It's like when you turn in your two weeks yeah. notice, yeah, yeah, you have to write it down yourself and then sign it yourself. Yeah. Just saying, like, I have sound mind, I'm quitting. Blah, it's a, blah. At the very least, it's a document, and then he phrased it in a sentence that is enough for me to, to go with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, sure, why not? Yes. I always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. That's like worse than... I... Yeah, your old title was bellboy who serves the the murderer iced coffee. <laughs> it's like it's like the girl who kicked the hornet's nest, but it's his own version of <laughs> the it. The girl who stubbed her toe, her toe. The bellboy who wrote an affidavit. <laughs> Just hurry up and write it. Boom. I'm confused now. It does scroll. Oh, well, what the fuck? Yeah, I was like, why can't I only carry one photo then? Is he that paranoid he'll get, like, caught? <laughs> what a creepy-ass motherfucker. I'm more confused about how we're able to get into his office without any interfacing with anyone. Like, is there a receptionist? Does she just keep letting us into his office when no one's there? <laughs> like, She's a bad receptionist. Does she, know she, does she know what her job is? Yeah, that's fine. Just go in there. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, then we gotta go to Miss May. To her dismay. <laughs> you again? Can you take a hint and stay gone? No. Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Meow. So it's my fault now. Yes. <laughs> you don't just have spiky hair. You also have a spiky heart. That's a condition. <laughs> that does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Somehow I get the feeling that's not the case. Did a yeah, in every, in every other game after this, he has a bald head. <laughs> <laughs> but weirdly a wig. <laughs> Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times. I'm not telling you. <clears throat> Where did you? Aha. Uh -huh. A reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No. No, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. D do you have proof it was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Uh, show me proof. I'm so close. Very close. Done, you might say. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bull boy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with. It was most definitely this guy. Uh oh. Now I'm getting somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Hard. This is it, all or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even if, though you should have. Oh, even though he should have been witness <laughs> to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Ooh, fine. I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes. Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fist in the air? <clears throat> now tell me about the man you were, were with. That man, he's my boss. 
Red, white. <laughs> the president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. <laughs> Red, white, Blue Corp. And he's got purple hair and a pink suit. I think we already knew that Mr. White worked at Blue Corp, but I wasn't. Well, ready for I, I, I kept making fun of that when it came up the first I wasn't time. Ready but for red, his name to be red, red white. white works at Blue Corp. Uh, red white information gathering. Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Cor Corp is located? Just Google it. It's fine. We can find Red... I'm sure we can find Blue Corp. Mr. Red White at Blue Corp. Yeah. Mr. Red White at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> if April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. What? Bill Boy's affidavit discarded? Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Phoenix, you don't throw Phoenix. stuff like that away. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> What are you doing, buddy? So now where should you go? Blue Corp. Oh, Blue Corp. Oh, it's an option now. Oh, the oh painting! Oh my god! Oh no! Also, the, the globe is green again. Yeah. Why is it always green? And not just an actual globe? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they couldn't draw one. That's... Maybe they put it as a green screen so they could add it in later. And then forgot? <laughs> Blue Corp incorporates CEO's office. If he's not here, I'm going to once again wonder what the fuck's up with receptionists in this universe. It's fine. Just go inside. What's with the surreal decor? It is kind of freaky in here. It's like a zero escape puzzle room. Welcome. Please furnish me with your title of personage. What the? Your name. What's your name? Oh, he's, su he's such a sand user. He's such a JoJo's character, dude. <laughs> he's got a diamond on his chest. Oh, no, those are his buttons. There's one down there, too. I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Inquirably. That's not a word. <laughs> Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. It's it's white versus right. <laughs> Splendiferous. Perhaps I've intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. That's not what that CEO stands for. Yeah. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. Amusingly, he's, he's red, white, of blue, and he's wearing, like, no primary colors. That's what I was saying earlier. He's <laughs> wearing pink, pink, pink and, and purple. purple and shit. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordily challenge. Wow. What a fruitcake. <laughs> What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney, fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you'd come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yikes. <laughs> This guy's arrogance meter's off the scale. Almost like he's a, a CEO. This is a lot to take in. I like how that, okay, so that's the representation of Americans. Oh my god. Look at it, wait. Look at that desk! Yeah, look at his... <laughs> the desk is so cool, I can His tell. desk and his statue. Well, the statue's Atlas. Yeah. But like, the, the desk is just like a man holding yeah. a desk up with his he, body. He just wants a series of naked people. Probably painfully. Well, yeah, because I think his head's gone. His head is the desk. <laughs> Please move out of the way so we can look at your desk. <laughs> Discarded Silent Hill villain designs. <coughs> is a... Desk head. Hmm? <laughs> desk head from Silent Hill. 
horrifying. <laughs> the um Let's see here. <clears throat> Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. <laughs> That's funny. Your what? Secretariat. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a shock it was to hear what she has done. <laughs> Your secretariat. What yeah. she's done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But... I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is inevitable that she would do this. Yeah, he's definitely lying. Because people in this kind of position of power will definitely uh, push their employees to do those kinds of things. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then sure. just be like, oh yes, of course, our company does not condone those kinds of actions when they get caught. Of course. That's the premise. Whoops. Plausible deniability. She's probably gonna get paid a lot for her firing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Yes. <laughs> he, Good ba job. Ba ba On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> My motto is... Don't worry. Be happy. Be happy now. He's so goddamn rich, he transcends time and space. He's fucking... King Crimson. It's, it's really funny, because I'm like... I'm like this, I've literally encountered a character that was a, a manifestation of that idea recently in a game. Where like time and space warped around them because they were so rich that that reality didn't apply to them. <laughs> They're anymore. so rich. Yeah. <laughs> Still, Mr. White. The hotel bellboy has stated, on the record, he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still want to talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Okay. Although, I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, like... <laughs> like, is, 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 he, is he like, arrest me, bro? I, I just say, uh, that guy. <laughs> arrest me, bro. Isn't that that's more or less the process? Yeah, but I think you have to be like, I don't think you. Well, you, yeah, have to you, like, you like write down like why they're the witness or whatever, which is like, yeah, we have an eyewitness that places him in this investigation. So call him as a witness. That's how it works. Hmm. It raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? Because uh, they wanted Maya to go to jail. Because they have power. Because uh, it's not their job. <laughs> to, yeah. Their job is to is to say that Maya is guilty and get her in jail. They're trying to make. They're trying to pretend he wasn't there. It was the goal. Also, Edgeworth definitely just actually works for him directly. Part of that being like the other guy was like Edgeworth is taking the case. I'm terrified and uh, like the other lawyer. But now that that lawyer is painting us now in this guy's office, so it's like, oh, it's not just Edgeworth. Edgeworth works for White specifically. Like it's not just like like this case probably. I, I don't think that. You don't think that? No, I just think that I think that Edge Lord is just a really good lawyer, and I don't think he knows anything about this. I think he I well, think he, like, is, he genuinely thinks Maya's guilty. Then why do you think something? Mr. White ended up with Crossman's painting? Because well, because I think he, there's no connection to Edgeworth. Well, why, why would that have a connection to Edgeworth? That's not his office. I don't know. We just have no connection to White with the uh, with that guy. That was a uh, that was Grossberg's painting. I, th I just yeah. think the idea is that he owns everything and he could just take whatever he wants because he's an asshole. Even the not for sale painting. Yeah, even the painting that the guy would Dang. never sell. So either either he stole it or he probably bought it with his bajillion dollars. It being not for sale made it his most coveted item ever. Yeah, he's like, well, I need that then. I, I think. It's I think like, it's what just, do you mean? Everything's for sale. I guess, <laughs> like, like like April May said. Everything's for sale. <laughs> You can't buy that in a store? What? <laughs> you can buy everything in stores. Yeah. But I just think it's, it's just a show that he's a bad... He's a, just an asshole. Like, yeah. it, it's to make you hate him. Which, he, as as if you couldn't already just by looking at him. Yeah, I know. He's, he's, he's... Yeah. He's a thing. 
He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh. Yeah, but he paid everyone to not acknowledge him. Ho, ho, ho. The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Oh, you ask about the painting? What kind of. Oh, that's you. <laughs> what kind of company is Blue Corp, anyway? I didn't check. <laughs> ah, excellent question. Let me give you a tour. <laughs> We buy and sell various kinds of information, like your email address. <laughs> we are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. That is honestly one of the most lucrative businesses of all time, is like the selling of information yeah. for the purpose of uh, like business analytics is actually so lucrative. Yeah. That's why there's so many online services that are hyper popular and don't charge anything. Because they you're sell the your information, yeah. Yep. Um, if you're not, if, 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 yeah, that's the, there's like a phrase for that or whatever that I've almost said, where it's like the idea, like, if it's free, then you're the, then you're the product. The, um, my, at my last job, we, we were, it was a retail store that would ask for people's emails. And yeah. obviously our corporate would like hound us on our percentage of email captures. Um, but we worked in a place where we got a lot of people from other countries who would not give their email because they're never going to shop there again. You know, there's no loyalty if they're just going back home. Yeah. But so it got to the point where my boss actually found out you can buy people a website where you can buy pages of people's emails. And just fill them and in. And he did. Yeah. He bought oh, pages of people's emails. And obviously I'm not going to release to names pump, or just anything. Just to pump up your numbers? Just to pump up our store's numbers. <laughs> oh, no! But But what scared me is the fact that you can do that. You yeah. can buy people's emails with their name listed next to it. It's like that really good philosophy but tube video. But you just video. go online and buy it. It's like that really good philosophy tube video we watched called Data. Or yeah. Him, like, it was like, he was kind of like, di like time traveling through dialogue trees with himself about data policy and everything. And it was like one of the most interesting videos that I've seen on YouTube, basically. And they talk about like your data double and stuff like that. And it's like, that's like, we all have, we all exist as online entities, regardless of whether we like knowingly consented to it ever or not like the, the, everyone like buys and trades copies of us with all this information that they think they know about us and that's like a significant part of how the like commerce works now well i, I think i was sitting here with you when i googled myself and i was able to find my phone number my last like three addresses and like where <laughs> i've worked and like my birthday <laughs> and uh I, I mean, I have a really unique last name, and so yeah. it's like you find me if you Google, but, but, but like all of that, like I don't have any social media, not really, I have like an Instagram, but that's that's it. But like I don't, none of that's on there. But they know you. They know your everything. It, it's, it's odd, it's funny. Yep. Privacy is a thing of the past. <laughs> Sell information? Oh, Phoenix. My sweet summer child. <laughs> <laughs> In just ten years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. There's only one office. This building is just one office. <laughs> it grows to encompass the city. <laughs> <laughs> In case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. Wow. Fuck you. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. Wow, the founder named the company? That never happens. And why you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. I, I couldn't Not tell. because your name's red white, really. Yeah. He, he clearly loves the color blue so much. Yeah, he's wearing so much of it. Yeah. Well. Fantabulistic, is it not? <laughs> Are any of these real words? <laughs> no, none of them. Because, like, it's on the edge of being real-ish. It's like, are these just stupid words that are real? Or he, are they all fake? He is so rich, he is making them into real words as he says them. <laughs> I mean, Once he, he says them, they become a word. Yeah. Kofefe. Kofefe. <laughs> just make up words. If they're famous enough, they just become real. I am the Jabberwock, my son. Um, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? A big painting on your wall over there. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple, or rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Damn. Damn. The, this fucking burns for days from these people. Like, they can think of the best ones. 
Right. It uh, who's on first? Yeah, I, I was just thinking that. <laughs> who's on first? Yeah, who's on first? No, who's on first? <laughs> That's a great bit, you guys. If you haven't heard that bit, you should look it up. Yep. Is that, is that Abbott and Costello? So uh, Abbott and Costello, I think. Was it? I think How, well, so. Did Abbott and Costello do talkies? Yeah, well, I think I thought. I don't know. I think it's Abbott and Costello. But whatever. They, were they the ones that did the monster movies that were like silent, I think? I could be wrong. Wait, no, I, I think those were black and white, but they had dialogue. Shit. There was also a really back. good one full of puns that was uh, with uh, Cheech and Chong about getting high but there was also another really famous like radio broadcast that was full of like jokes it's not here man <laughs> anyways uh it appears it appears you do not fully grasp your position here i feel like we just walked into a mr robot script yeah we might we might die here like it's only it's it's, it's so close to just being like it's like this is the ceo of evil core i ask again who are you um huh a lawyer you really define yourself by your job, Phoenix, right? Come on, now you're a person. I mean, that's why we're here, at least. I know, but <laughs> no, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Damn. A mere cat. <laughs> Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. Wow, he can't, he can't learn a name ever. I think he just hates people. What? He doesn't care enough about them to learn their names. Ugh. Ooh. See? Oof. Ugh. Oy. Wait. Oh, he actually punched me. God damn. Oh, I thought he was just like recoiling from being called Mr. Wrong. <laughs> <And laughs> they hurt, it hurt him physically. And then someone else getting called Grody Bird. No, he's actually attacking me. I know, but like it, like the insult just the made fuck? you physically get hurt. That'd be yeah. funny. <laughs> well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, huh? Charge me with assault? Yes. Charge away. I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? <laughs> what? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. Wow. That, 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 that's obviously a fuck up on his part, but it could also be literal because. Yeah, no. It, it, beyond it beyond your pay rate. Sense. Yeah. Like it, 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 it rings false because you're like, that's not how that sentence goes. But then you're like, oh no, it, makes it means comprehension. Sense. But yeah, he isn't paid enough to know about this. <laughs> and that is true. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossberg's, yes. Then you must ask him, why is that this? Why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Damn. God, what a dick. Yeah. Who could have guessed? Now we just need to figure out how to destroy him. Oh, we've shown a picture of himself, I bet he'll say how handsome he is. <sighs> Would you be kind enough to cease your inane chattering and vacate the premises? Let me put it in language you are sure to understand. Shut up and get out. I have nothing more to say. He seems nice. Hee <laughs> hee. We're gonna be best buds. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want, he doesn't want evidence. Still, the murder weapon. Ah! No. No, he's not gonna talk to you anymore. Yeah. And I've already examined the room. What a pizza shit.